Hello again. Welcome to M Level 3 podcast on microdial countersink. The microdial countersink has several advantages over the standard multi flute cutter. The microdial, also called the microstop, features a rotating extensible shaft in a fixed body. The shaft allows for installation of different cutters and rotates on a set of bearings in the housing. Each cutter has the same 1 quarter 28 thread form and offers nose pilot pins sized the same as our solid rivet diameters. The microdial body is extendable, which determines the depth of the countersink. Each castellation on the housing equals a value of one thousandth of an inch depth. To change cutters, break torque using a pin punch and rotate to remove. If the body length is shortened, the cutter penetrates deeper. If the microdial body is lengthened, the cutter depth becomes more shallow. Check the depth of countersinks by dropping a rivet into the hole and inspect for excess head protrusion. A properly countersunk rivet should show a small silver ring around the head of the rivet. You may need to peel back the plastic in order to inspect the depth properly. Cosmetic damage done by the microdial shoe is generally not reason for rejection. Well, thanks for watching. MLevel3.com on podcast on uh, microdial, microstop, countersink bodies. Keep checking back, we'll have more for you. Bye bye.